right. We are connecting. This is always my favorite part of reviewing the cast is listening to this part right here. <laughs> and we are oh, <laughs> waiting to be uh, a full go. Yeah, we're good to go. So uh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Case Cast, episode number 10. We have hit double digits. We've made it. Very exciting. I'm Dylan. That's Ryan. And um, yeah, as always, we're going to jump right in. So uh, if anyone wants to say anything in the chat participate that'd be cool uh subscribe to the channel if you don't mind leave a like comment all the good things that the youtube algorithm enjoys uh so for case cast number 10 tonight got a wide selection not 100 percent sure if we'll get to everything or what we'll get to tons of product here for the 10th anniversary but uh oh the 10th anniversary (laughs) edition yes my personal favorite here definitely is going to be the 2001 upper deck golf looking for those tiger woods "Quote unquote rookie cards that we discussed in last episode, and then um, how many packs do we got here? Ten. Ten, yeah, ten packs of 2012 tops series two. So some uh, modern vintage, if you will, flagship tops. Looking for the Bryce Harper rookies as well as the second year Trouts. Is that the uh, the horizontal? Horizontal. Trout he's like, uh, no, he's like giving high fives. Oh, okay, that's to like right. Tory Hunter and somebody else, I think. Tory Hunter. Wow, that's yeah, that's amazing that that was like only eight years ago, but like that also, was eight years ago. Like, <laughs> right, right. That's crazy. It makes me feel really old. Uh, of course, we got uh, Steve Aoki. This is what was this? Wave, two, three, two, and three, four. And, four. Yep. and then some 2019 Series One Upper Deck. Hockey, looking for the Hughes brothers. And we have digital cards. That's right. Totally forgot about that. Obviously don't have them in front of me. And maybe in the future, I'll have no cards in front of me because we also (laughs) have Top Shot. We do have a pack of Cool Cats. If you guys are into Top Shot, you already know what that is. If you're not into Top Shot, we'll discuss it when we get there. But we also are going to be opening a pack containing five moments on Top Shot. So let's get into the physical cards first. Let's do it. Start off with some golf here. Yeah, let's do that. Try and get the Tiger Rook. There's actually a lot of rookies in this box. Yeah, I think it's very similar to when we broke Net Pro. Yeah. Because there was no release, no prior release. So let's take a look at the box here. Um, of course, Tiger taking up all three spots on the box, as you do. <laughs> um, we got the uh, fist pump down the middle, a nice Tiger smile, and of course swinging on the right so it says look for true rookie cards of the top players in the game one tiger woods insert card in every pack so there's lots of tigers lots um, of tiger lots of inserts and of course the true rookie is number one card number one in the set <coughs> excuse me take a look at the box here i've never been able to hold one of these before so this is really exciting let's see this box contains a random assortment of 2001 upper deck golf cards we got our odds so tiger tails are one per pack i guess that's the insert series what else are we looking for we got one per uh, pack yeah one tiger tails per pack because he's got his whole subset you know okay. that they did um so that we won't get the base card in every pack right we'll get a, yeah you know the, one the, something yeah. with tiger's mm-hmm. face in every pack yep um much like you know they did the jeter the jeter yes the jeter relic in the series was yeah. update this year uh yes the manufactured relic things yes. Yeah. Um, signed golf gar- gallery parallel number to 50. We can find those. We can find some players ink, players ink parallels, tour threads. So we Is can that get some Ruben in the chat? Daddy's home. Why, he says. <laughs> why what, my friend? Well, welcome to the chat, Ruben. Um, why what? Why no break, maybe? Who knows? Well, we're going live, so we can engage with you. Um, <laughs> making the cut signature cards, four total cards available, then e card. 1 to 23, there is an e-card. So, Are you telling me there's NFTs in this? <laughs> there's, there's golf top <laughs> shot from 20 years ago. Incredible. Top golf, if yes. you will. Jordan, do you have a scissor over there I can use? Oh, we Ooh, an exacto. Knife. This is this is dangerous. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's see if I can not Giving James a blade. Idea. Yeah, maybe not your best decision. We'll see. All right, so I don't know who the other true rookies are, but... Kucher, I think, is one. Okay. It's maybe Sergio. I don't know. Probably, remember. yeah. I looked I mean, at the checklist the other day. There's like 20 of them. Sergio is around the same age as Tiger. That would make sense. All right, we've got a lot of cards here, so I guess we'll go break style Things for you. jammed. Very net pro feeling. 
This is gonna take a while. You wanna help me out? Yeah, sure. Pass Let's me half the stack. Half stack. So I think there's 24 packs. Yep, five cards per pack. The tiger tails in the back. It looks like. Okay. Yep. I see that. Golf season's uh, underway here, so while we're doing golf, might as well talk a little bit about that. Let's do it. It's January. Um, we are in the fourth event of the year, Torrey Pines, this week. Farmers Insurance Open, typically where Tiger makes his debut each year. But he's hurt. He had another back surgery, which is just devastating as a fan to hear. I mean, this guy's been through how many surgeries i don't know but five back surgeries multiple leg surgeries torn acls knees <laughs> elbows necks achilles you name it he's dealt with it so my boy's battling uh, is this another fusion situation no no fusion it was a micro dissectomy um i don't know what the severity of that is i don't really know what it even means but he had like a bulging disc that was pinching a nerve in his back he needed some type of procedure to get that straight the bulging and the pinching in the <laughs> <laughs> yes all the words that you don't want to hear <laughs> so the future remains kind of unknown for tiger you know if i feel like if people have always been saying for a long time oh he should retire oh he should go away oh he doesn't belong in the game but um you know, he's come back. He's won multiple times since all these surgeries. He's Masters champion in 2019. I mean, the guy, if he's healthy... He's still got game for sure. Absolutely. He can win golf tournaments for... I, I honestly believe Tiger Woods will be the first, the first person in his 60s to win on the PGA Tour. Now... I might have just made up a total bogus stat. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> First person you know of to yeah. win in their 60s. I can't. I, I'm trying to think because I know like Tom Watson almost won a major. I, yeah, I was just going to ask you who the old was that almost won. He, but I think he was 59, so I guess that wouldn't have counted anyway. What did Ruben say? Ruben says my rookie year was the previous year, and I think Bagger Vance could beat Tiger. I believe that's a Will Smith movie throwback <laughs> shout out will smith i didn't get that reference it's of uh, course it's, it's a golf movie no surprise there i don't get his references well i think uh bagger vance and maybe tom gordon could beat uh, tiger in golf <laughs> probably nobody else probably nobody else gets that reference either all right let's see what we got let's get right in we it's are a starting fat stack of cards yeah this is exciting because i i love golf and i can't wait to see who's in this checklist so we start with Thomas Bjorn. Oh, wow. These are Brick City. Oh, God. So Upper deck uh, tends to be. That's right. Greg Kraft. Here's the Victory March uh, series here. That's a Garrett Willis. Never heard of him. Colin Montgomery. I guess I can talk a little bit about each player as we go through this. Sure. If you don't mind. You can throw in any statistics you know of. Okay. Colin Montgomery, uh, one of the greats to never win a major. Uh, European Tour, Scotsman. Great player on the European tour. Never did really a ton in America and uh, choked away an opportunity to win the 2006 U.S. Open, as did Phil Mickelson at Winged Foot. I love your golf knowledge, I will say. Thanks. I'm glad. We can do a, this is going to be a big clip for the golf people. <laughs> yeah. So here's the Tiger Tales um, first one. This is this is the fist pump from the 1997 Masters, April 13th. Does it say that or do you just know it? It does say it, but I did. I would recognize this pose anywhere. <laughs> We're going to get deep into this. This is going to be great. I love it. So that's This is your wheelhouse. One. It is. Tiger's mat. So this looks like a master's history type of set, potentially. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. A Young Guns. Wow. So Upper Deck has Young Guns not just in hockey, apparently. I didn't know this. This is Joe Ogilvie, I believe the brother of Jeff Ogilvie, who won that 2006 U.S. Open that Colin Montgomery should have. <laughs> Amazing. Greg You're Chalmers. a golf encyclopedia. I appreciate that. Thomas Bjorn again, Victory March. More Tiger Tales. Okay, so we have a young tiger here. Not sure where this uh, this photo comes into play. Paul Laurie. He was a uh, British Open champion when Jean van de Velde uh, had the epic triple bogey collapse. Don't know where that was. Dennis Paulson, never heard of him. We have a tour time. 
Mike Weir, turned pro 1992, one of the uh, most famous left-handed golfers because there's not that many. Canadian man, won the 03 Masters. Dudley Hart, that looks like an athlete if you <laughs> ask me. More Tiger Tales, Rookie of the Year, 1996. I kind of like the look of those cards with the little gold on there on yeah, the edge. Yeah, like a little little chromium name on the side. Sure. I do like those. Our young second Guns. Young Guns. So these, I mean, these are obviously considered rookies as well. Right, Young Guns. I mean, it's like the, I wonder what these, go, if these have value. It's a good, I have no it's a good idea. question. I think there's a Kucher Young Guns. We'll have to keep going through, obviously. This is awesome. Um, so Adam Scott. Really looking like a child here. So what year was this? Oh one. Oh one. Yeah, I guess this might have been his rookie year. Um, Australian man, twenty thirteen Masters champion. Curtis Strange. You see him in the booth if you watch a lot of golf these days. Throwing it back here <laughs> to Gene Sarazen, defining moments. Gene Sarazen. I'm not even going to read that, but Gene Sarazen <laughs> had the uh, shot heard round the world at Augusta. Made a Double Eagle Albatross 2 on a par 5 15th hole at Augusta yeah, in the year that he won. Golf Gallery, of course, Jack. Can't have a golf product without Jack. Let's go into the chat here real quick. Ruben says, I went to a charity golf event and Chichi Rodriguez hit back-to-back hole-in-ones on a par 3, 172 yards. That's incredible. Where was that? Where, uh, what course? Here's Chichi Rodriguez. I don't even know, to be honest. I've with heard you. that name, but I don't. I don't know where from. Tiger Wood. This is from. Uh, this is clearly St. Andrews here in the background. The 2000 Open when Tiger completed the Grand Slam. Tom Kite Legends card. So we also have a Legends subset. This is a great rip if you're a golf fan. <laughs> Jesper Parnovic. Jesper probably best known because his nanny. Ended up marrying Tiger Woods, Elon Nordegren. Is that so? Yeah, that's how Tiger met Elon. He, this guy's from Sweden. Elon worked for Jesper watching his kids. Tiger met her and they got married. Look at that. You got facts for every card. I love this. <laughs> I need to get one of these every week. Yeah, we should. This is amazing. Jack the Golden Bear. So this is like a nickname type card. Jack at the 1973 PGA Championship. Let's see if there's any... There's a little story on the back there. Canterbury Golf Club in Cleveland. Rory Sabatini still on tour today. Victory March. Probably one of the few guys still out there today. Here's Tiger repping the uh, Stanford colors. Um, Young Tiger. This looks like it was from... Oh, it says... It says... Okay. Tiger wins his first U.S. Amateur 1994. I don't know that that's... Is that wrong? It's not wrong, but this photo was not from 1994. <laughs> Tiger in 1994 won at TPC Sawgrass wearing a brown cowboy-style hat with a pink and white striped shirt. The Stanford outfit, I believe he wore at Pumpkin Ridge. <laughs> this is so or beautiful. it could have been Providence uh, Newport Country Club in 95 or 96. I don't think this is an accurate picture. Call them out. So I may have to call up her deck about that. <laughs> about their 01 golf product? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to look into this. Anyway, we move on. This looks like our first web pass info card. We're probably going to just disregard that. More web pass. Hope you don't mind that we're going. To no, I love it. I love your knowledge. Give them a little history lesson. I to could the do this all night. Ruben said he played at Forest Gate Country Club. That's very cool. Oh, is Jordan, are we looking up Tiger in the... Can we look him up in the 1994 U.S. Amateur? Let's see if we can... I'm pretty sure he's got like a straw hat with a pink shirt. Yeah, there it is on the go left. To, go to the screen share. Yeah, and it's the picture on the left. Click on that one. Yeah. See look that? Look at that. <laughs> he nailed it. That's the 94 look. And see, if you go down on, on Google there, the right, the down one and to the right, that one. That's the picture on the card. Yeah, upper deck's incorrect. You, 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 you'll notice every other photo is Tiger in the pink and white striped shirt. So I love that you nailed that. I think I've got him. All right, anyway, back to the product. Unbelievable. Robert Damron, never heard of him. Have our first leaderboard card of John Daly. John Daly, one of the most pure athletic talents 
in golf. Um, probably could have been an all-time player if he wasn't obsessed with the booze and the drugs and whatnot. But hey, to each their own. David Duval tour time. Probably the closest competitor to Tiger other than Phil Mickelson throughout Tiger's early part of his career. Lauren Roberts, don't know him. Here's a Tiger Tales. This looks like, yes, I was correct. I wish it didn't say these little notes at the bottom so I could quiz myself, but I do recognize this as the Bay Hill outfit. He, he rarely wore the the black, white, red combo on Sundays. He typically <laughs> just went with the red. But, you know, he, he mixed in some black, white, red back in uh, 2000 there in his year, uh, his assault on the PGA Tour, uh, his best year of his career. Here's KJ Choi, one of the best Korean players of all time. Leaderboard card of Colin Montgomery. We've discussed him, and here's Sergio. So this is a defining moments, Sergio. Not sure what that moment is from, but Sergio had a good start to his career, and then really never panned out. Finally got a major win in 2017 after 20 years on tour came much later than people expected the golden bear jack so we got a an insert set of the golden bear feel free to cut me off i love every minute of this (laughs) don't recognize this tiger moment but another tiger tail fist pump gotta love the classic fist pump billy ray brown he is on a uh (laughs) ruben says borderline stalkerish (laughs) with the outfit recognition (laughs) Yeah, I'm I'm Tiger's biggest fan, so I'm not afraid to admit that. Billy Ray Brown also on the uh, the mic on uh, PGA Tour Live. You'll hear his voice. Stuart Appleby from he, uh, he could be from the land down under or New Zealand. I get them confused sometimes. <laughs> Calc Mark Calcavecchia, Champions Tour phenom these days. Colin Montgomery. So they really had a hard on for Colin Montgomery in this set. <laughs> This says National Heroes. He definitely was a national hero of Scotland. Here's Tiger celebrating again. PGA Tour Player of the Year in 2000. Just Where's three. the sweater from? I, I wish I'd recognized this moment. Um, but clearly, you know, three wins, three majors in one season, like nine wins possibly, something like that. Just an unbelievable best year of his career. Jesper. Billy Ray Brown, didn't he sing the song Old Town Road? That was Billy Ray Cyrus <laughs> and Lil Nas X, but you're close, Ruben. Chris DeMarco, Young Guns, wow. In 2005, Chris DeMarco lost in a playoff at the Masters to Tiger Woods, of course, after Tiger Woods chipped in on 16. You know that famous chip in? Mm-hmm. That, that probably the most famous shot of all time. Is that the one where the ball sits on the edge? Yes. Yes. That was against Chris DeMarco. Look well, that. that wasn't the playoff, but Chris DeMarco went to a playoff in that Masters. Lee Jansen. Uh, Tom Lehman. Tiger Tales. Here's a young Tiger. More Web Pass cards. More Lee Jansen. Here, oh, Chi-Chi Rodriguez, Ruben. There he is. There's your boy hitting hole-in-ones. On that, that's from Ruben's charity tournament, that it is. picture. This literally could be the day that you watched him hit his hole in ones. That's How funny his second hole in one swing right there. Let's see. One of the most popular figures on the link since turning pro in 1960. Wow, so he's pretty old. Rodriguez has been an excellent ambassador for the sport, whether through his play or through his goodwill charity work. Zero Masters, zero U.S. Opens, <laughs> zero British Opens, zero PGA Championships. What a stat line. However, eight PGA Tour victories. So he was a winner out there. Stewie, Stewie, sink. Won the 2009 Open Championship at at Turnberry <laughs> against Tom Watson. That was the year that we were talking about, that Tom Watson nearly did it as a 59-year-old. More Golden Bear cards. There's a really young Jack there. Tiger Tails. I think we already pulled this one. Blue and white stripes. Dudley Hart already got him. Nick Faldo, defining moments. Three-time Masters champ Nick Faldo, most recently in 1996. You'd think with the amount of cards you get in this box, you'd have to have a decent chance at a tiger. You would think, right? It's very net pro-ish, like I yeah. was saying. It's like you get you get all but 10 cards in the set. Right. So I'm interested to see where we end up here. Joe Durant. I've heard his name on the Champions Tour. Colin Montgomery. Oh, a scratch-off. 
Oh, what are you scratching off? Oh, go to UpperDeck.com to digitize your e-card. We, oh. This may have expired. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 20 years old. Uh, Ruben is asking in the chat, how can Jordan take all this excitement? Jordan, are you excited right now? Oh, I'm very excited. Yeah, she's loving it. You heard her. I like golf. There you go. <laughs> Tiger Tales. Um... Yep, another 2000 Tiger. Classic dark maroon shirt. I prefer the dark maroon shirt, Tiger, to the bright do reds. Do you? To the bright reds of today. Interesting. I do. This is my look for him. Corey Pavin, another senior tour guy these days. Lee Jansen, tour time. Dennis Paulson. That is definitely another name that I'm used to hearing on the broadcast. So a lot of these guys, I guess, <laughs> retire into the booth. Stat leaders, Mike Weir. That's a little chrome, chrome oh, card look at there. That. All right. I'd love any... to see you in the golf booth. Oh, I, I would love to be a golf announcer. I think that'd be a great career for me. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Um, you know, again, this is okay. This, this did this, they mess this up? No, this photo I think is correct. Actually, this is the '96 amateur at Pumpkin Ridge. Is that right? It's where he beat Steve Scott. Yeah. Okay, I think they got this one right. Good on you, Upper Deck. Freddie Couples, legend. One of my favorite older guys. Here's another Young Guns, Hunter Haas. Um, you don't hear much about Hunter Haas. I don't know if he ever really did anything. Is he related to Jay Haas? Bill Who knows? Haas? Any Haas? He probably got to be related to one of the Haases. There's a Gary Player defining moments. The Black Knight, as they call him. Who is this? Is this another Jack? Yes, 1966 Jack wearing the uh, the old Sam Snead hat there. And Tiger leaning into a <laughs> shot. This looks like ah yes, this is <laughs> at Pebble Beach. Tiger, this is this is one of the most underrated moments in Tiger's career. Most people don't know about this. He was down by like six shots on the back nine mm-hmm. at uh, Sunday. You know, he's wearing the red. Obviously, it's Sunday. Yeah. He comes back. He makes eagle on this hole that this card is from, mm-hmm. rolls it in with a pitching wedge, and he just ha- he fires like seven under on the back nine, wins the event. It was like one of the best back nines. He was nines, six back on the back nine? I believe so. Jeez. And he just motored home and won. Um, very underrated event. It was in 2000 when he was busy winning majors, Everything. so people kind of overlook that. But wow, we're only halfway through. Keep it rolling. I'm loving this. All right. Casey Martin, Young Guns. So we got another Young Guns. That's probably what, fourth or fifth Young Guns, I would say. I'll make a little pile for those. Corey Pavin, Defining Moments. Jack Nicholas Golden Bear from 1963 Masters. That's uh, even earlier in Jack's career. Stat leader, Stewie Sink. So now we're starting to get some repeats here. Tiger Tales here. This is Tiger and Duval at the World Cup in 2000. Um, another good story about the World Cup in 2000. They were playing a, like a, a what do they call it? A, it's like two two on two match play where these mm-hmm. guys were partners. Duval needs to give put it on the green to give Tiger a chance to make birdie so they can win their match. He flares it out to the right into the waste area. Tiger chips it in. Of course he does. Duval and Woods win. What a moment from the 2000 World Cup. Ah, our first relic. Here we go. Oh, Bob relics? May. Authentic golf shirt. Nice. Tour threads from Bob May. Do you know who Bob May is, Ryan? No, I don't. Can't tell the people about Bob May? I I know nothing about Bob May. I can tell the people about Bob May. 2000, the PGA Championship. Bob May is a nobody. Tiger Woods is winning everything in sight. It's the final major of the year. Everyone expects Tiger to win. And no-namer, Bob May challenges Tiger all the way through the tournament, takes him to a playoff, loses to Tiger in a playoff. But Bob May got his moment in the sun in the 2000 <laughs> PGA Championship at Valhalla. What uh, a moment. And now we have a piece of his shirt. That's big. Duffy Waldorf. What a name. Great name. Victory March. Here's Tiger Tales. This is from Tiger's first win. Okay, it doesn't say where, so I have to see if I can remember where. Hmm. Las Vegas? Was it in Las Vegas? I'm going to go with Las TPC? Vegas. TPC Summerlin, I think. Not the one we played? Correct. Um, so Las Vegas will always be notable stop on the PGA Tour for Tiger Woods. This is where he posted his first tournament win as a pro. It doesn't actually say if it was Summerlin or if it was TPC, where we played. 
if it was TPC, I feel like I would have known that while we were there. Yeah. I you, think this I'm is sure someone. you would have. All right. Lauren Roberts. I think that's another TV name. Frank Nabilo, definitely a golf channel name. I bet even you remember Frank Nabilo. I do. I know that name. I think he's a New Zealander. Tour time, Peter Jacobson, The Jake, Nick Faldo, Victory March. Here's some Tiger Tales. Tiger wins north of the border. So obviously this is from the Canadian Open. Um, signature shot of Tiger's career on Sunday, 18th hole, 206 yards from a bunker over water. <laughs> Six iron stuffs it to four feet. No one hits <laughs> shots like that. Tiger does. Gary Nicholas. I huh? assume who's that fool? Son of Jack? Gotta be son of Jack, right? You'd think. Nicholas, the son of the legendary Jack, yes. Didn't honestly know that he was Didn't on the pan tour. out to much. No. There's a leaderboard Duval. Look at Duval copying the tiger look. <laughs> That's straight up thievery. Uh Freddie Couples tour time rolling in some putts, doing some putting drills. Ray Floyd, Hall of Famer. Here's Tiger. This is the original press conference of his career in 96 where the famous Hello World quote came from. <laughs> Hello World, I guess. <laughs> That's what he said, I guess. Yeah, yeah. he was. he's a kid. He's like 20-whatever, 20, 20, 21, and they're like, Tiger, what do you have to say or whatever as you come on tour? He's like, oh, Hello World, I guess. <laughs> Great line. Nick Faldo, throwback look. Duval victory march. Or time Jack, older looking Jack there. Padraig Harrington, National Heroes. Three time major winner, Padraig Harrington. Here's Tiger. A uh, memorable memorial for Tiger. This uh, card teased me. That's kind of the pose on his rookie, isn't it? Uh, the rookie is actually him walking in a putt that he uh, in from 2000 where he beat Bob May. It is, is, it does kind of look like he has his hand yeah. up, like he's pointing. But yep. yes, you're right. I'm so floored by all this that we. I didn't realize we still haven't pulled the rookie. No, so we still got somehow. For that. Mark O'Mara. This is Tiger's pretty much best friend on tour uh, in the early or the late 90s. Mark O'Mara, 1998 Masters champion. Jeff Sluman, the Rochester native. Yes. I the played, Sloom. I've played at his course up at Lakeshore Country Club. Here's Payne Stewart. No, is that? Yeah, of course it is. Payne Stewart, legends, rest in peace. Victory March, Robert Allenby. Tiger goes to Stanford. Yes, there he is playing in shorts. You don't see that very often. Digital card. <coughs> Bernhard Langer. <laughs> Still playing great golf to these days, to this day. Uh, high finish at the Masters this year. A young guns, Michael Kirk. Hasn't amounted to anything. <laughs> A much younger Bernhard Langer. Here's Jack from 71. Tiger Tails. It says Tiger runs a streak of six. So I guess this is during a six-tournament win streak, which is absolutely unheard of, something that Tiger d did at least twice in his career, maybe more. Ray Floyd Legends. Shigeki Maruyama, I remember this guy. He was big out of Japan, also never really amounted to much. Strix, a younger Strix. Ruben says the strippers were Tiger's best friends on tour. <laughs> That's right, Ruben. I'm so sorry. I, I got that wrong. The Perkins waitresses. Yes. Uh, Rachel Yucatel. <laughs> John Daly. Look at that swing. Just taking it all the oh, way back yeah. to the butt. <laughs> Just full on. I mean, that is unbelievable, the rotation. Have you seen there. his son? Yeah, little John. Yeah, he, he's not that little. No, no, but they call him Little yep. John. He has some torque. Mm -hmm. Man, those guys are powerful. It's fun to watch. PGA Tour Player of the Year in 1999. There's Tiger. I believe this is at his Medina PGA Championship win. I recognize the shirt, of course. Before, he just went solid red. We were dealing with that look. Bob May again. Leaderboard, Sergio. Padraig, victory march. Are we not going to get the rookie? It doesn't seem like it. Stat leaders Robert Allenby. Young Tiger. Michael Clark the second. Young Guns. Legends Gary Player. Give me the Tiger. One time. What do we got here? Mark O'Mara, Defining Moments. 1980 PGA Championship. 
I believe that was at Oak Hill. Was it not? Was it? Was I have no 80, idea. The 80 U.S. Open, I think, was actually at Oak Hill, now that I think about it. But I did believe Jack won at Oak Hill. Oh, no. PJ Championship, 1980, marching to a seven-stroke victory at Oak Hill in Rochester, So that's New York. the Oak Hill right this there. This is it. Yes. Look at that. It's a cool little card. Shout out, Pittsburgh, New York. On card. Shout out, producer Jordan. Shout out, Jordan. Tiger becomes a junior golf prodigy is the caption on this one. Digital card. Nick Price, we're almost done, and I don't I know I don't think we're going to do it. Duffy Waldorf, Young Surge, Tour Time Faldo. Oh, we haven't done it. Wow. Tiger, male athlete of the year in 97. Boy, I can't believe we didn't get it. It's fine. That was a great rip, though. It I mean, fun. I, the viewers are probably like, sleeping but i i could do <laughs> you're that all, you're jacked up i am i've that. been this excited for cards in a long time i can't believe i've never opened your a box knowledge is impeccable Thank i you. feel like you could make a box of this last for about four hours oh absolutely i could go on with, with all of your stories knowledge. on these guys yeah i'm just such a big golf fan this you're really huge. reinvigorated me how, how it's much a good time for golf golf stuff it's true how how much do these go for? I might have to get one. Mm, around two hundred, maybe. It's really not bad. No, especially considering eBay, you can find them a little cheaper. It's not bad. Did you get these at DA or did uh, you yeah, get these? DA. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what the print run on some on stuff like this was because I like Net Pro too. Like I, I just draw so many parallels. There's right. no they're very telling, similar. There's no telling how much of it is out there because it just wasn't that popular. Mm -hmm. And um. I don't know. I guess based on pop counts, though, like if you look at the Tiger rookie, there's like 9,000 PSA 10s. Really? So you got to assume that there was a ton of this printed. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Like this, this, I don't know. I'm just very reinvigorated now, and I'm going to be uh, looking a little deeper into upper deck golf for sure. <laughs> and we got another one for whenever. So uh, I know. We, I don't, man, I may not be able to resist opening that tonight. <laughs> um, but anyway, should we try moving on to some baseball now? You want to go digital, or do oh, you yeah, want to no, let's do, do top shot? It's up to you. Let's. Well, I don't know. You tell me, because I'm kind of anxious for this top shot. Let's do top well. shot. All right. Let's see what we got. We'll here. head over so, to the computer, and I'm also going to go on top shot on my phone real quick and make sure that the. Uh, uh, I want to see if they have dropped any new packs. So, if anyone was watching last time, uh, we talked a little bit about non fungible tokens, NFTs, which top shot uh, does fall into that category. Um. So if you don't remember, it's basically, it's a lot like just sports cards in in physical form, except it's digital. Yep. And instead of still images, you're looking at videos. They're videos. So um, we love the concept here. I've kind of fallen into a, a little bit of obsession. Um, not buying. I haven't, I've only bought two moments, I believe. Um, so I haven't been buying, but I've I just love ta listening to other people talk about it, seeing where the money's going, just trying to learn about it. Because even if Top Shot is not the future like itself, mm -hmm. I do think that digital NFT type collectibles on a blockchain yep. could be the future. So I'm I very agree. interested. I'm just keeping my ear to the ground, um, and I haven't had a chance to open any packs, but I'm so excited to do this right now i haven't either and so producer jordan is actually opening the, the packs so yeah let's go ahead and hit open let's do this we uh we got cool cats this is uh there's gonna be five moments in here one cool cat moment and four other moments we're looking for low serial numbers and we're looking for you know big names lebron and Lamelo is the big rookie yep. this year Luca. we're looking for luca zion trey ja Giannis. Yes, all the big names. Have so. you um, have you listened to the First Mint podcast? No. LG that? Doucette has a podcast. Oh, I love him. Yep. He's he awesome. Has a, he's doing daily podcasts now for, oh. for uh, Top Shot. Oh, that's A lot of big. good stuff on there, though. He's one of like the early adopters, he right? He is, yeah. He's, like, he's been around for like months in Top Shot. He now. was around since like the playoffs, yeah. Okay, so he's he's been, he's been around the block. I yep. heard him on the... Uh, I watch... Uh, Pete Overzet. Yeah, I saw I saw his interview with him and Davis Maddock. Mm -hmm. So that I love all those guys. That yep. whole crew, they do a great job. Shout out Pete Overzet, great channel you got over there. So he he done him with CSU Ram. He's got mm -hmm. a guy named Jack on there who's a little bit younger. He's the got twenty four year old kid. You know who I'm talking I about? I watched yeah. that episode like today. Oh, there you go. So the kid who bought like the five figure. Uh, what was it? 
the, was it a LeBron? About, he brought remember. the he bought the LeBron Kobe dunk, the tribute dunk. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it could be, but he's very knowledgeable too. Yep. So, but we are gonna get our feet wet here. We're gonna open a yes. pack. We're wetting the feet. Let's do it, Jordan, if you will. All right, so it's gonna load up, and there's gonna be five places to click. I love the the music is great. We we can leave that on. We can maybe just lower it a little bit, but it's really uh, it keeps me pumped up. <laughs> so, all right, if you do, you, does it still do it where if you hover over it changes color or no? I'm not sure. So it looks like they're all gray. Keep hovering, and then the left one. Okay, so they're all gray. So we're gonna get no. Um, we're gonna get no preview here, so we're just gonna have to go random. Jordan, yeah, you can go Jordan, you do pick. what you gotta do. Will you also will you turn the volume down just a little bit first? Ruben, thank you for thank being you. impressed by my golf knowledge. And yes, we're looking for Tyrese. You can have Maxi a little bit of well. volume. We gotta keep chains pumped over. They here. call Perfect. it club top shot for a reason. Yes. All right, fire away. You pick want? you what pick whatever one you want. All right, first moment. Low number, 1501. Okay. A John Collins dunk. Collins, is this the cool cat? Is he a cool cat? He is. This might be the cool cat. It is because it's out of uh, 5,000, Yep, right? this is it. Okay, so there you go. We got the cool cat right off yep. the bat. What's Collins, the mint number on that? 1501 out of 5,000. It's not okay, bad. Okay, no, not bad Relatively at all. low. Rising over Jared Allen. Okay. All right, there you go. Got your... So I, afterwards, we'll have to go to the marketplace see yeah. what these are worth. But yeah, next one. Let's see what we got. 50. Oh! Super low Christian mint. Christian Wood. Okay, Christian Wood. Very okay. nice. Okay. Wood Duncan over Nicole. Wow, Jokic. number 50. That's super low number. That's a 12,000 plus CC. But hey, we'll take a double digit all day. So two really good ones to start off. I do like this music. <laughs> Isn't it pump, pump you up? <laughs> All right. Great start. So you're definitely going to be able to... Uh, I don't know what the market's doing right now. I haven't checked today, but these double-digit ones on the CCs are yep. uh, three-figure cards yep. for sure. So good for you. Jordan, nice work. Okay. 50-71. A Giannis. Giannis. Okay. Wow. So a Giannis assist. Looks like he dishes to Dante DiVincenzo down low, who stuffs it home. Celtics ended up beating the Bucks by one in this game from December 23rd, second day of the season. I'll say all pretty good cards so far. Absolutely. Pretty good moments. You're going to make your money back and then some. $14? So sure. Oh, easily. <laughs> You're going to easily. Two right. left. One of you picks the last one. Ryan, it's your pack. You tell me. You, I would like you to pick, James. You'd like me to pick? Go yeah. bottom. Let's go bottom, uh, bottom moment. Okay, sixty three seventy one. Okay, Joe Val, I've seen this moment a lot. This, this one comes up a lot on okay. other people's openings. So, probably the worst one so far, but that's okay. <laughs> My pick couldn't have gone. Uh, didn't always go to plan, but that's okay. And Jordan, I'm going to pick the top middle moment. <laughs> <laughs> great choice. Great choice. The music is a nice touch. It is. <clears throat> Give us a rook. Come on. 61 71 three pointer oh hero it's though. okay dude this is a great pack he's like the face of the top shot he sure is is this the snarl is it i don't know i no, don't think it's it is not it has snarls against the league no but it's a buzzer beater three though okay dude this is awesome from half court this is a game that they ended up losing by 50 <laughs> <laughs> that was the first quarter buzzer beater <laughs> but um wow that's a great pack. I we I, we got to see the the value of this. Can we can we real time check the yeah check the value? All right, Jordan, you ready to navigate Top Shot? I'm ready. All right, so let's remember who we have here. Um, Jordan, if you just uh, right click on the tab up top, no, the one you're on, the one you're on, do duplicate tab. Okay, now this one you can go up to marketplace. So you want to look at the cool cat first? Yeah. So search John Collins. Yep. So keep in mind this was a fourteen dollar pack. The low ask it's is cool two hundred and sixty nine dollars. That what that says? Yep. So that's <coughs> huge. Okay, we're mega profiting. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm imagining that'll be up over three towards the end of the cool cat challenge. 
I think you're right because now that people are starting to get cool cats, I think they're going to go for everything. Yep, they're not going to just uh, you know siphon yep. them off. Okay, so all right, profitable. Very profitable. Let's see what else we got. Um, Giannis assist. Yep. Search. It's G I A N N. Which one was it? It was the assist. Um, yeah, click go back to the other tabs. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. So it's the first one, 75. Okay. Dude, holy wow. <laughs> so we're at $344 That's right now. That's the low? 75? That's the low ask. Okay. Wow. Jordan, if you may go back. Let's do. Uh, do Christian Wood? Yeah. And that was the number the 50, 50, so yeah. we're going to have to Click look into that one. That one. Yep. The first, is it the first one? It is. Yep. yep. So click up, when you get to the first one, actually click on it now. And then click on the where it says lowest ask. Uh, and then scroll, scroll to the top. Scroll all the way up to like around where it says number 50. Or near, yeah. 47? Yeah, so like what is that price? 300. So we're looking at another two fig three figure card there. This is amazing. That's a good pack. Yeah. What did I say we were at? Three forty five. So we're at six forty five ish. Okay. Um and then So we have the Hero. Hero. That one's just a yeah, a common. The, the last that'll probably two. be like a ten dollar maybe. Right. And then the Joe Val will be one dollar, two dollars. Yeah. I think it's the fr Go probably up. top to the top. Yeah. 50? Five? Click on that one, Jordan. Why is it? Oh, interesting. Really? It keeps scrolling down to this one. This Top Shot's on one right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like 50 bucks. Hey, well, yeah. Go up to the top one more time. Let's try refreshing the page, maybe. You could just hit refresh, but it's okay. That's yeah, so it's pulling weird. you down to these moments. Okay, so like fifty bucks. Jeez, it's a good pack. It's over seven hundred dollars, and the Joe Val's gonna be like two bucks. Don't even bother with yeah. the last so, one. So I mean, oh my god, I'll you take did, it. You did amazing. So the Cool Cats are making people money. Yep. All right. Gotta love the Cool Cats. So wow. that was fun. I'm hoping we can secure some more of these. I, that would be amazing. Now, how how are they going to go about releasing more Cool Cats packs? Do you know? So yes, the rest of so these were. I think earlier last week or late last week, um, they had a Cool Cats release, and they said we're trying to we kill them. We're trying to like test the load, okay, um, on like the marketplace. So I tried to get one, obviously, as you tend to do, right? As you get um, it. and I failed. So I got an email saying, "Thank you for trying this. We're gifting you with a Cool Cats pack." Right. So I paid my 14 bucks, got this pack, um, and that's how I got this one. But I do know they're randomizing packs to um, users who just filled out a form, I think. Did you do that? I filled out the form, so I'm in the lottery. Okay. Um, so I think you'll find out soon. I hope so, because I, I, originally I thought they were going to do that.
It's not. I'm, oh yeah, there we go. Now we're making noise. Sorry for the technical difficulties, guys. Ruben, thank you for uh, warning us there. I don't know where we got cut off. But I don't know what happened there. Well, hopefully the people got to hear us uh, talk about how you just made a bunch of money on uh, <laughs> car insurance by switching to Geico. No, I'm just kidding. Um, by uh, opening the Cool Cats pack. So you're going to get the Luca reward, right, if you mm-hmm. complete the Cool Cats challenge? Yes. Um, I believe that people were spending top dollar for these Cool Cats moments to complete the challenge because they thought that the challenge was going to expire like Mm -hmm. in a couple days right now it's being pushed back to february 8th when a lot more supply of cool cats is going to be on the market um and (laughs) i think that's going to actually eventually drive the price down so i think people are going to be a little upset that they spent big money ahead of time because these cool cats moments were way way up i mean right four or five hundred dollar range at one point so I think um, the transparency there is a little iffy. The fact that that uh, Dapper was you know uh, was able to just kind of change mm-hmm. the deadline at that point. So I will say though I was keeping an eye on it today. It the prices went down today from yesterday, but they're already going back up. Okay. So it's interesting to see. Do you think it's this is because um, people who. I, I, what do you? I mean, what do you think? I don't actually know. What do you think is the reason that they're that they're rebounding like this? Um, well, I th- I think they're gonna see after these. What was like eleven thousand packs left? Mm-hmm. I think after those are all finally released, I think there will be a dip quickly because these are all going to be hitting the market. But then I do think they're going to go back up because people want that Luca reward. Mm-hmm. Because if you look at Luca cards, like I think his lowest one's like seven hundred bucks. So you, like, and this is going to be numbered out of 5,000 5, or less. Right, right. Maximum of 5,000. Right. So I just think people are going for that Luca. Yeah. And the, I think they're willing to pay whatever for it. I think you're right. Uh, one of the hottest players in the game right now. Um, Ruben says sell now. February 8th for his 54th birthday. Well, Ooh. I didn't realize that your birthday was coming up. That's awesome. 54. Look at you. You're doing great. for You look great for 54, Ruben. <laughs> You look even better with uh, the cards fun stickers on your face. <laughs> um, I really find it interesting to try to predict the market trends of this because mm-hmm. it's not a regulated marketplace. It's not a normal quote unquote marketplace where it's going to follow normal trends. It's right. pretty much brand new. Mm-hmm. You've got flooding investors. You've got people who want to pump and dump. You've mm-hmm. got people who want to hold long term. You've got people who are only interested in opening packs. People who are only interested in doing challenges. So you've got all different types of people trying to complete different goals. And all things considered, the supply is pretty low on this stuff. It is. And I think, so this is like the first challenge that a lot of people are exposed to, us included. Mm-hmm. The Cool Cats one there, I think there's like a limited edition out of 50 one too, but you got to spend like 10 grand to complete that. It, is it the Dwight Howard one that yeah, they're doing right yeah. now? Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of people are getting in. They're like, oh, the first challenge here, there's Luca. I'm just going to put everything into it. So I think these Cool Cats will go up, but after this one, I don't know if, if that'll be the case. That's just my thoughts on it. No, it's it's very interesting. It's I, I just like to hear everyone's opinion because I I think I've got it down. I think I've formed my own, and then someone else brings up a good point that's contrary to my belief. And mm-hmm. this is why I'm not really buying. I'm just kind of watching. Right. Um. It's it's really fun though. I have bought. I guess I got to tell the people what I bought. Um. I bought a three dollar Jeremy Grant dunk for the Detroit Pistons. Any reasoning behind that dunk? It was my first purchase and um i just really wanted to make a a cheap purchase (laughs) you didn't care what it was nope and that was you know he was he's the cheapest like good player i could find for three bucks um that's one of the cheapest cards he's been running the pistons absolutely so he's i like it he's been very hot um and yeah i just felt like you look at the players around him it's like tyus jones and sfi mikhailuk yeah and like Guys, Sadiq Bay, right? Guys that My I don't boy. really know, uh, and I'm I'm just talking in terms of price, like right. Oh, guys, oh, oh yeah, I thought you meant his team. Yes. Yeah, I mean the the team. You're right. They, mm-hmm. I mean Blake's like washed up and everything, but yeah. The the other one and two and three dollar players, he just stood way above everybody mm-hmm. else. So I picked him, and then uh, Nikola Jokic. I bought a Jokic for 
six dollars, which seemed for the guy who's probably going to win MVP this year seemed, or at least is the front runner for now, seemed way too cheap. Yep. And those went up over twenty bucks right away. So I felt felt like that was a good buy. Did you sell or you, you holding? I sold. Nice. Um, and then I bought another one for nice. um, bought another one for ten. Okay. Uh, and they went back down a little bit, but I mean I'm still haven't sold that one yet, but it's listed. Yeah. So we'll see what nice. we can do for that one. So it's been fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing. It. I'm gonna keep watching. Those are my three purchases. Only two players. And how about you? Other than uh, the pack, have you got? I any? bought everything in the Cool Cats Challenge. Okay, so, so you completed in. it. Yep. Wow. So I'm just gonna sell everything I got in that pack. I mean, as you should. You're gonna yep. you're gonna load up your bankroll, uh, yep. recoup everything you. I'm gonna spent. try. I think what my goal is is to buy the five Cool Cats again, and wait till those go up and just sell those off interesting so you're gonna you're gonna like hold a complete set Mm -hmm. a second complete set yeah okay because you only can get you can only get one okay that's interesting just my thought for now it could change who knows there's 10 days left in this thing right now that's interesting to kind of hoard the hoard the (laughs) challenge because that you know those are going to be in high demand right but as soon as the challenge is over the man has to drop you would think so very cool we'll see be yeah. an update next week, probably if we do one of these next week. I'm just gonna I'm gonna give a look on Top Shot right now to see if we can get any packs, base packs not available. No. Okay, so yeah, but we gotta keep our ear to the ground. Hopefully, on that. you'll have one by the next time we do this. You'll be gifted a cool cat. That would be great. And I'll open. Hopefully, I can open that on stream too. All right, uh, what else should we do? Uh, oh, Ruben says COVID has brought the hobby back. Thanks, Rona. You're right, Ruben. Uh, the hobby has never seen anything like this year uh, in a long time. Uh, yeah, and thanks to COVID, really. I guess one of the good things to come out of it. It's true. It's really the only, maybe one of the only <laughs> good things about it. So, all right. Um, um, you want to move back into some physical product? Yeah. How? What? Uh, what's our time, Jordan? How long have we been going? 52 minutes. Oh my Dang. Gosh, I really milked <laughs> it with the golf stuff. No, stage. it's fine. Let's let's do baseball, and then maybe we could even finish at that point. I don't know. Okay. see where we're at, but I do yeah. want to open these yeah, baseball Yeah, let's do cards. these baseball um ruben says when's the next break or what's the next break it's going to be top series one probably a couple days after release uh we will definitely keep you updated on that we got two cases coming two cases yeah could be more it'll probably be two cases for now while ruben brings that up actually before we get into this and as we transition to baseball um the checklist still not out but there's been a couple guys guaranteed okay um joe adele guaranteed yep Alec Bohm guaranteed. Yep, Ruben's boy. Yes. Um, I believe Ryan Mountcastle was guaranteed. Yep. And there was one more name. Do you remember who the other guarantee was? There, there's literally mm. only four guys that I saw. Ruben, if I you can't, know in the I chat, can't think know. of it. I can't think of him. Okay. Well, I had a list in my phone of who we're potentially going to see between... There's a lot of names. Between Series 1, Series 2, and Update just this year. Yeah. I mean, listen to these guys. So in addition Hit to the me. ones we just mentioned, Cabrian Hayes... Davey Garcia, the Yankee pitcher, Sixto. Um, Sixto, is he the guaranteed one? He may be. Because he played quite a bit last year. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. If I he think he might in. be the one. Um, Dylan Carlson, Drew Waters potentially, Joey Bart, Andres, is it Andres? I don't want to mess it up. Is it, it's Jimenez. On yeah, the I think it's Andres. Okay. Andres. He, he was, um, was going to be. No, not he's not on the Mets. He was in the Lindor deal, so he's yep. gonna be on the Indians, right? Yep. Uh, yes. Okay, I may be totally messing that up, but he was a Met, and I think he's gonna be in this. Um, I said Joe Adele, Jake Cronenworth will be in at some point this year, if not okay. Series One. Mize should be in. Casey Mize, yep. that's right. And then some guys who are likely to get called up: uh, Julio Rodriguez, Wander Franco, JJ Blade, Riley Green, Jared Kelnick, uh, Alex Kirloff, Jeter Downs. I mean, this could be a massive year. Unprecedented year year in baseball card rookies. Massive. People are going to be chasing like never before. Uh, This is going to be just an awesome chase. We're going to be selling a lot of breaks for Series 1 and Series 2, I have a feeling. Let me just tighten this mic real quick. (laughs) What do you think the first Wander Franco base PSA 10 will sell for? Ooh. Well... I'm going to tell you what, I think it's going to be less than people think because he will have already made his debut at that point. Mm-hmm. And unless he hits 586 mm-hmm. in his first month with 11 home runs, it's not going to be that high because the yeah. hype is going to die. He's going to be good, I'm sure. I'm almost sure. But no, I think I think he'll drop in. Um, 
Man, I, I'm gonna say he'll be in like the two hundred dollar range. Okay. Yeah, which is still really same. high. Yeah, it is. But but if you look, you know, like Juan Soto is like three hundred dollars. Well, what were the Roberts going for? And he didn't even play well. Yeah, I don't know what he ended up going for in a ten. Um, Ruben says fifty billion yen. <laughs> that's a lot of yen. I don't know about U.S. dollar though. <laughs> yeah, that's it's definitely gonna be a lot of yen. So here's another question, follow up. Yeah. His Bowman Chrome, first Bowman Chrome tens are going for about two fifty right now. What do you think those will hit the day he gets called up? Yeah, that's a good question. I think I mean they'll peak right when he gets called right. up. They'll go up for sure. You said they're what right now? Two fifty. Um, by the time he's up, I I think you're going to see those go to like four hundred bucks. I think those are going to go way. Well, those could double. Yeah, I'm not, I, I wouldn't be surprised. For sure, maybe more five hundred bucks. I mean, what is like. What's a Tatis at right now? Do you know? The I Bowman don't know. Chrome? I don't know. I remember the Vlads were pretty high up there when he debuted. Right. Though. And 19, he was like the guy. And then he, I mean, I think he's going to be good this year too, mm-hmm. but prices go nuts on those things. Um, $30 US. <laughs> 29.99 to be exact. <laughs> That's funny. But. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a great checklist, but let's get right into uh, this checklist right here. So speaking of uh, good checklist, 2012 top <clears throat> series two, didn't have the sheer numbers of players, but uh, Mike Trout's second year cards and Bryce Harper rookie cards. We got ten packs here. Um, should be a fun little modern vintage rip. Yeah, these are hobby packs. I don't know if that matters to you or not, but sure. they are hobby packs. No, well, that's great. We're going to be uh, able to pull autos and relics. I assume they still did that back then. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Upper Deck Golf had a, a relic. <laughs> right. Oh, man, that was so much fun. That and we fun. have another one for you. I know. That's unbelievable. We got a lot of product on hand here. So true. Golf, upper deck hockey, Steve Aoki, which I know the people love. <laughs> <laughs> the favorite product of the people on the cast. Maybe one of the least exciting products we've opened. It's really it's all about the cake chase. That's yeah, all you're in it, it for. Is. Wow, I already see a Raphael Betancourt. So this what a is gonna name. Be, this is going to be quite, quite a rip here. This is uh, really going to bring back a lot of memories of uh, playing video games in this era, baseball video games. Yes. And really just a time. Jeremy when... Hellickson, what a name. Oh, is he? In? Did you just see his yeah. name? Yeah. That's great. The Ray. Yeah. I I think they were the Devil Rays back then, maybe. Or this they switched yet? Right around the switch time. I think they had probably just switched. I think they switched in like in the 10, O something. O nine yeah. or ten. There's yeah. a Joe Mauer on the back there. All right, let's get into this. Twenty twelve tops. Oh, Felix the <laughs> King. Right away we uh get into uh one of the better I already see like a freaking super fractor in here. Do you are you seeing this? It's gold. It's why won't it show the people? Look at that. Oh, it's wood. It's that No no wo- this. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's like gold I don't know. sparkle. I don't know. I'm excited already. Felix I will say I love the design of these cards. Yes, I like that they have borders. Very simple. Yep. Yankees not affiliated with the Trenton Thunder anymore, so instead there's going to be a league of only 2020 draft picks in Trenton this year. Interesting. Only 2020 draft picks in Trenton this year. Huh. I don't know if he's joking or that's if he's That's kind of like the Cape Cod League. Is that what they do? Cape Cod League is like summer league all in Cape Cod for like high prospects and college kids. Oh, I didn't know that. Cody Ross here. Let's look, what do we got this gold here? Look at this Matt Downs gold <laughs> sparkle <laughs> from the Rockies. This number? Sure. Not even number. I thought yeah. it was I was all excited. I thought it was like a some kind of super fractor. Look at that thing. But it's just Matt Downs. Look at that thing sparkling. Never heard of the guy. Me neither. Astros guy's got his freaking eyes closed on the card. <laughs> Jordan Walden, he is serious. Okay, that's really interesting that they're doing that in Trenton. Gold Futures, I can never tell with you, Ruben. You're always joking around. Jordan Walden. CJ Wilson, Aaron Harang. Oh, our boy, Dallas Braden. Yes, Shout out, Dallas. You should text him. I should text him, tell him I just pulled his card. I'm definitely going to send him a picture of that <laughs> after the podcast is over. What is this guy? Brandon League? There's an A-Rod. I remember A-Rod. Brandon League. I don't recognize that name. A-Rod, I think I have that card. Kutch as a pirate. Shenming Wong as a gnat. 
Boy, they really don't like putting these cards in the same order, do they? No, they do not. Here's a gold standard Willie McCovey insert. Hunter Pence with the Look mini that. mini eighty seven. Pence tops. on the Phillies. Jeez. Real throwback. Dickerson, Brett Laurie, Brandon Crawford, Hellickson, Robbie Cano, don't you know? <laughs> Big Chen, juicer. K Rod. Volstad. Scott Harrison. Okay, so the golds are not rare at all. <laughs> it's a Joe Savory rookie. Okay. Okay. We can send that into PSA. Joe Savory. Why not? Gordon Beckham. Jonathan Lucroy. Remember Carlos Marmol? Sure do. Oh, my gosh. What is this? What is that? Number one fan <laughs> tops bunt. <laughs> hey, bada, 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 bada. <sighs> so wing. Bada. Come on, drive it out there. Send it my way. Hit it deep in the left. Come on, knock it out the park. Hey, bada, swing, bada. He get it, he get it, he get it. I love that. Prince Fielder, Mark Burley, Joe Savory again, Man Ram as an A. Wow, people forget. that. Who's ever seen that? <laughs> Amazing. Here's a Griffey, career day, cargo. 87 mini homer bailey heard he was not the nicest guy from uh someone i know that played in the reds organization kyle <coughs> seager luke luke hughes is that uh, phil's bro who knows maybe alex gonzalez jire jurgens tory james darnell matt kemp we got here a mound dominance nolan ryan your boy vinnie Pistone. I don't know most of these guys. There's a Hafner getting mobbed by the boys. Chris Dickerson. I don't even remember him as a Yankee. <laughs> Danny Espinosa. Joe Maurer, of course. All right. Maurer power, as the kids used to say. Arroyo with the Look famous at the leg, leg kick. kick. Oh, that's a good image there. You got to like that one. Anthony Rizzo. Didn't realize. He, I guess he must have been an 11 rookie. Yeah. Yeah, the he was. Trout? Okay. Yep. Jeets. Yeah, Jeets. Brad Brack, rookie. <laughs> Starlin Castro, going it alone, golden moments. The golden giveaway. Darwin Brawny, Papel Bon. Bon. <laughs> Cordero, Davis, Tory Hunter, Mike Giancarlo Stanton. Is he Mike on there? He is Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Pre- Named Dan U- Did I see a Dan Ugla card in there? Earlier you did, yes. Ryan Dumit. Right there. Look at the forearms on that guy. Uh, which one? Ugla. Ugla? Oh, this Ugla, yes. Yeah. I was like looking at that pile. Yeah. No, he's he's a unit. He's just got little stri- striations. <laughs> did you know Mike or Stanton or Giancarlo Stanton's name is Giancarlo? And yeah. he just went from... He, he yeah, told, he switched to Mike, and then he switched back. Right. Most people think his name is Mike, and he changed it to Giancarlo. And I don't know why he switched correct. to Mike. He said because no one could pronounce Giancarlo in school, so he just told his friends his name was Mike. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Bailey, Garrett Jones, Reed Bridgenack, Tim Stauffer, Daniel Descalzo. Farnsworth was a Yankee. Sergio Romero. Romero. Um, Romo, <laughs> Sergio Romo, my bad, Sergio Romero. Ruben says he was better when he was Mike Stanton. Agreed. Rod Barajas. Yes. This has a lot of sentimental value to me, this card. Take it. I will. Mound Dominance, <laughs> Roy Halladay, rest in peace. Jackie Robinson, also rest in peace. Liriano, I remember when he was uh, in Rochester. Daniel Murphy, Kenley. Josh Willingham. Okay, Colin Cowgill. Rookies are way less prevalent. I was just going to say, not many rookies. But as we say that, we pull two in a row. Tyler Pasternicki. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Colby Rasmus. Die cut here of Dustin Pedroia. Cut above. Aramis Ramirez. Played a lot of good years. Carlos Pena. Big power guy for the Rays. Travis Snyder. Soriano. Okay, David Carpenter, rookie. Grant Balfour. Balfour, as the kids call him. Ah, I get it. Dwight Gooden, mound dominance. 
insert of Willie Mays career day and Jose Costanza rookie not what we were looking for while we're here we have two loose hockey packs you want to just get these over with yeah let's do that all right Love loose base so we'll transition right away into some hockey we just have two loose 2019 upper deck series one you know where you got these from card world they were free okay a little bonus item yeah so you had like a big order on card world yeah i got this upper deck hobby box well i got the two golfs the 10 packs we just opened and this Series one hockey box, and nice. they threw in these two as bonus. Very nice. All right, let's get into it. Good photography here. Nick Benino. Oh, a lot of uh, horizontal cards. Thomas Hurdle. Kempney. <laughs> David Perron. Jake DeBrusque. Shea Theodore. Ruben, your flyers have been taking it to my devils. <laughs> Carter Hart, he Beat says. Beat him again tonight. He likes his Carter Hart. Is that their goalie? Mm-hmm. William Nylander. Cam Fowler. Connor Hellebuke. <laughs> Miko Koskinen. And a Young Guns, Cody Glass. At least we got one. For Vegas. Fine. Get on in there. Tom Wilson. Rob Thomas, shout out Matchbox 20, <laughs> Jean-Gabriel Pajot, and Toivo Teravainen. Very good. All right. It's a lot of cards. It's a lot of cards. A lot of content. <laughs> you got to love it. Did you have it was a fun else? one. No, um, always, I feel like fun. I did, but what, I can save it. Yeah, we might as well save it. We talked about a whole ton there. It's been a rough week for you. Yes, it has, Ruben. Yes, it has. Two losses to the Flyers. The Devils did? Oh, yeah, that's... They lost tonight 3-1, and they lost the other night 5-3, I think. That's not what you're looking for. No, that's like, not. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, okay. one more quick thing we're not going to spend a lot of time on. I do just want to say pay homage to one of our old episodes where we opened 2003 Net Pro. Um, right before that episode, I bought six boxes of Net Pro for 90-ish, 95-ish dollars a piece, and I told you guys... Look into Net Pro. Look into alternate sports. And what do you know? They're over two hundred fifty dollars a box now. I still believe it's way too early in tennis look at cards. This guy. If uh, and the Bills. That's yeah. right. It, right. It's been uh, <laughs> yes, an unbelievable week. Um, um. Sorry. Yeah. So look into um any alter alternative sports. Um, also, I would even look at. UFC stuff is popping off right now. But imagine you could pick up a box of 2011 Tops Update for 250 bucks. You'd be, <laughs> you'd be buying every single one. Yeah, right? you would, absolutely. So why are you not buying every single $250 Serena, Rafael Nadal, and Roger Federer rookie box? I don't know. I don't know. I would. Um, and you did. And I did, and I'm probably <laughs> still going to buy more. I just think that... Uh, I don't know. I'm just like obsessed with that uh, that whole thing. And now golf. Like maybe I just need to go back and buy every 250 or less uh, upper deck golf box. Too. Sure. Why not? Too good. Too good. All right. Uh, should we end it with that? Yeah, we got a lot to save for next time. So well, I'm fine. With I that. had fun though. It was yes. a good one. We always te seem to like just fill more time than we. Yeah. Than we what are we like an hour fifteen right now? What are we at? Jeez. Wow. All right. Good for us. Shout out to us. <laughs> Um, so thank you everybody for watching. That was Case Cast number ten. Um, if you wouldn't mind, leave us a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate you guys watching. Ruben, thanks for being in the chat. Always good to hear from you. Uh, we'll be back um, probably. We might have a cast next week, but we'll do breaks uh, in two weeks. Um, coming back with top series one. We got two jumbo cases coming. We will have pricing up for our breaks on thecardsfund.com. Head over there, make an account. Um, you will get rewards points for every dollar you spend on our breaks that you can use towards future break credit. So definitely get in on that. Not a lot of breakers utilizing that. Um, so take advantage. And, um, yeah, you can follow us at The Cards Fund on Instagram uh, and Twitter at The Cards Fund. And uh, the Facebook group, that's the last thing. Yes. TCF Case Breaks. That is where you'll find out about all the case breaks that we are going to be doing in the future. And I think that's it. So a lot of plugs there. Well, you got to do it, right? Follow Dylan on Instagram at Kuvard's Cards. Yes. He posts a lot of slabs for sale. A lot of baseball lately. 
Uh, some basketball, so that's at Kuvard's Cards. Oh, thanks for the plug. Of course. That's K-O-U-V-A-A-R-D-S, Cards. A little unorthodox, but appreciate the follow. Um, yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, I'm Dylan uh, for Ryan, for Jordan. Griffey's around here somewhere. <laughs> we are the Cards Fun. We'll see you guys next time.